Hi and welcome back to my channel. You're Today, <laughs> that's my baby. Uh, she's two and hollering. What are you doing? <laughs> no, we're gonna go into Goodwill. I have to return no. that polar bear thing that no. didn't work. So we're gonna go return that and go see what else we can find. Let's go. The first thing that I noticed in this store is this vintage sewing machine and the sewing machine table. So it would drop down and you could pull it up and store it away. I don't know how to use the setup and I don't see the tag. That tag over there, that $24.99 is for that table, not this sewing table. So now I'm trying to see if maybe it's under here or maybe somebody already took the tag off to go pay for it. And I, these are the cords, there's two of them. Very old. <laughs> and then there's another cord on the ground. I don't know why there's three cords. And then it lays flat like that. It's an old singer. It doesn't drop down anymore. Maybe I'm just not. Um, I don't know what button to press or how to get it to go down. So maybe it was supposed to be like that. I don't know. Now we're in the hard goods section. So there's these little candle holders. They were each 99 cents each. And there's like 12 of them there. I know it's a little crazy. Cute little ornaments. I do like this jar canister, but it's $5.99. I think that's what that says. Let's keep looking. A little cat trivet, but it has like green stuff all over it. I know it's like from where, because that's probably like a copper. Maybe I should have picked it up with it. I don't know. That's a $9.99 for the curtain rod. That looks like it came from Hobby Lobby. I've seen those before there. $2.99 on this piece. I do like it. It's like a little organizer. So I'm moving that sign so I can get back to this chair's chatty. That one is so cute. This one's $6.99 and it's like little sand castles, like little lifeguards. I do like this one. It says as is and it's $8.99. It looks like it takes some type of batteries. But the little light bulbs on it were broken. $4.99 on this set of Hallmark ornaments. Original price was $20. I did not do the comps on it. Probably should have. And these come from that Target spot, and they were originally $5, and they were selling them for $3.99, or $2.99, excuse me. All the clear glass over here. And if anything is not marked, it's going to be 99 cents. This is $1.99. It is a Corningware piece, but with it being all white, that's why I left it. Because I feel like people who buy the Corningware want the ones with the designs on it. Maybe I should have picked it up for $1.99. 99 cents on that little, looks like an ice cream dish. Now, I personally don't like baking with Corningware or Pyrex or any of that because everything I bake in it always gets stuck. 
I don't know, and I have to scrub it forever to get it out. But three ninety nine on that little bear. That one says bear collector. That one is pretty cute, and that would be ninety nine cents. Cherish Teddy, they're everywhere here. Four ninety nine. Little seashell ornament. I'm trying to put it back without it getting broken. A little trinket box candle this looks like a napkin holder I don't know what that says I even tried to google lens it and I couldn't figure it out not sure looks like somebody might have taken the original goodwill tag off so I don't know how much they would actually sell it for me or to me if they would sell it for a dollar or 99 cents Three ninety nine, because I do know sometimes they'll ask the manager, and the manager will be like, "No, we're gonna have to go back and look and see," which is fine. But... Some more look like toilet seats down there, a whole bunch of them. So this is fourteen ninety nine. Another cherished teddy. It looks like I don't know if that would be all of those in that one box, or if it's just one piece. If it's that girl. Right, let's see. The box is in really good condition. But for $14.99. I feel like it's really high. Yeah it's just one. It's from 2000. It has a little pin right there. And there is the cherished teddy. And she has a little puppy, but I do leave it behind. And then right next to it, I see this little dog leash, a retractable dog leash, and their leash, and they were selling it for ten ninety nine. You could probably get them for five dollars on Amazon. I don't know. Crazy to me. A little googly eyed little horse. And this one's a little monkey. A bunch of toilet seats down there. And there's that item that I was going to take back. But I didn't make it in time for their little time frame that you could return stuff for. They give you seven days to return it, and I was a day late, which is fine. It's not like it was a, a big buy, but I still wanted to return it because I couldn't sell it with it being damaged on the inside. It was corroded, and that was in a past video, the battery compartment. $1.99 on this little collector's tin. Probably had candy in it. So does your Goodwill still have Christmas st stuff still up? Or did they already change it to Valentine's Day and Easter stuff? Now, I did leave that tray behind. That little glass dish. Because I have one. Almost the exact same as that one, and I've had it for, I don't know, before the summertime is when I've had that one. I really wanted this Santa one for myself, but it was $6.99 and was missing a piece. They were so 
well made. There were so many details on this, and it was um, Hallmark. Five ninety nine on that piece probably came from Target or Walmart. Some of those little bears, those ones are different and they're ornaments and they were um, 99 cents each and they were hooked to the shelf from like the original ornament hook so I left them alone. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and happy holidays. I know mine was super busy, but it was still fun for the kids. They had a really good time. I did like that plaid deer, but he was broken and damaged, so I left him behind. That was a little bear. It was $2.99. Do you like that pie plate? I've been looking for one for myself, not for resale, because not very many of them do have a resale value. So it's $1.99. But I want one that doesn't look like that. I want like the regular, I don't know what they call it, pie plates or pie pants. I don't know the technical term for them, but I want one, but like a classic shape. That one reminds me of a quiche. A little made in Japan mug. It was extremely dirty on the inside, and I don't know if I'd be able to get that out. $1.99. So maybe I should have picked him up anyways, and did comps on it later, but I didn't. So again, anything that's not marked is going to be 99 cents. But as you could see that they had some of the mugs at $1.99 and some of them for 99 cents. $1.99 on that cake pan. Another pie plate. That one was pumpkin. Two ninety nine on this one. This one had a recipe for a cheesecake, so I don't know if I could cook anything I wanted to in that one. I don't know. Three ninety nine. And this piece, I leave it behind. Sorry for the camera angles. <laughs> um, I feel like my toddler is like an unpaid actor and she just holds the phone anytime I carry her. <laughs> and you see her little hands. Electronic section. They have a whole bunch of crazy stuff back here. I didn't even notice that organ down there on the bottom. That might have been worth it. Kind of reminds me of Ghostbusters down there. <laughs> well, I didn't even notice that might have been a fairy light right there. 
everything. Picture frame section. That looks like somebody put their own flowers in there. Their own pressed ones. Or dried flowers. Some more chair studies. $5.99. That one's really cute. $6.99 on this one. Her face is chipped on that one, though. $6.99 on this casserole dish. It looks like it's milk glass. A Philips Universal remote. I did the comps on it, and it was not selling for very well at all. I thought it would... But it would not. Maybe a couple of years ago before everything went straight to your TV, probably. So I thought these were going to be a ceramic or chalkware, but they were plastic. 99 cents each. So in the book section over here, the paperbacks are 99 cents and the hardcover books are $1.99. This is Learning Dynamics. It's a reading program that you would use for homeschooling. It's just little tiny books that have a couple words and it just helps them how to learn how to read and pronounce a couple sounds on each little section. They do different sounds. So homeschooling stuff does pretty well on eBay or anything really because people always want that kind of stuff. I know I do and sometimes it can be really expensive or hard to find and especially if you don't shop on Amazon. And that kit, I don't know if I said that, but it was $4.99. And it looks like it was all there. That's a Wizard of Oz. I am in Kansas, so Wizard of Oz is very popular over here. Um, it does have all the pieces. It's the book and the mask. To pretend. It's six ninety nine dollars though. Um, I do do the comps on it, and the comps were going for the same as Goodwill. The same price at six ninety nine. dollars DVDs and CDs over here. But yeah, I like to look everywhere. I don't just stick to one section. I sell pretty much anything that I could get a profit from. I don't see anything else in the book section. Um, we're going to go ahead and head back home and I'll show you what I picked up. All right, so this and the pie plate was the only thing I picked up today. And the pie plate was for myself. So this is the Learning Dynamics Homeschooling. It does have a lot of wear, and that was from the Goodwill sticker. Now, me personally, whenever I'm buying stuff for homeschool or whatever for myself like if I see something on the package it's not going to bother me it does have all the pieces in there I did double check and it has all the pieces in here just great little reading set and I have a bunch of this stuff already that's why I'm not keeping it that's everything that's in there 
There is a CD in there. Right there. And I put these in the baggie and I did go ahead and organize them so that the, when somebody buys it, they'll have it already organized. And whenever it's open and stuff like that, I always label that in the listing. And that was $4.99. And that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.